Hello everyone. This presentation brings to you detail on nervous system of Pineus indicus, the common marine prawn. The nervous system of Pineus it is composed of three parts. We can divide it into, uh, into three parts for easier understanding. One is the circumesophageal nerve ring, the double ventral nerve cord, and the nerves arising from these two structures. Okay. Circumesophageal nerve ring, if we see, this is the part which uh, is the circumesophageal nerve ring. And it is composed of the supraesophageal ganglion, ganglionic mass or the ganglia, or it is referred as the brain. Here you can see it is labeled as a brain. Okay. Then we have as a subesophageal ganglionic mass or subesophageal ganglia. Here you can see this is the subesophageal ganglia. And uh, a pair of circumesophageal connectives. So these are the circumesophageal connectives. So all these three together, it forms a ring like structure. It is arranged in a ring like manner around the alimentary canal of that part, that is esophagus. And hence, this is known as a circumesophageal nerve ring. Circum means surrounding the uh, esophagus, the nerve ring is made up of nervous tissues. So that is how the name comes, circumesophageal nerve ring. So circumesophageal nerve ring is, it is composed of supraesophageal ganglia or brain. The name itself indicates that it is placed above or dosal to the esophagus. Then we have as a subesophageal ganglia. It is placed just below the uh, esophagus. So this is the part where through which the esophagus pass. I hope it is clear. Okay, it is placed just below that. So this is actually ventrally positioned and this part, the supraesophageal ganglia is dorsally positioned. Okay, and the circumesophageal connectives on either side, they pass along the lateral sides of the esophagus and connects these two ganglionic masses on the dorsal and the ventral side. Okay, so the connectives, they connect uh, the connective, the term that it is generally used for those nerve, nervous tissues which connect two uh, different ganglionic masses together. Okay. Now, another part of the uh, circumesophageal nerve ring is the commissural nerve. Okay, you can he see here commissural nerve, and this is otherwise referred as transverse commissure. Now, commissure it is a term used for any nervous tissue that that connects two similar type of nervous tissue. Okay, so here the transverse commissure or the commissural nerve, they connect the two circumesophageal connective. I hope it is clear. Okay, so these are the uh, different structures, nervous tissues which form the circumesophageal nerve ring. Next we have is the dorsal nerve cord. Okay, it is ventrally positioned as we have already seen that the brain, it is dorsally positioned above the esophagus and uh, the subesophageal ganglion, it is ventrally positioned just ventral to the esophagus and the dorsal nerve cord actually arise, uh, arises from the subesophageal ganglion. So, it passes from the subesophageal ganglion uh, along the midventral line just below the alimentary canal. Okay, and this is double ventral nerve cord in the sense it is uh, uh, actually formed of uh, two fused, almost fused ganglionated nerve cord. Okay, so it is uh, fused ganglionated double ventral nerve cord. Uh, so the term itself uh, says everything. It is ganglionated because at uh, different points they do have ganglia. Usually at every segment they do have a ganglia. Then it is double nerve cord. The two nerve cords are there which are fused together. You can see here it is double nerve cord. Okay. Now these double nerve cord do have ganglia at various positions. You can see here they have thoracic ganglia, six in number, one each in every uh, thoracic segment. Okay. So altogether they have the uh, six thoracic uh, ganglia. Similarly, along the abdominal uh, segments also, they have uh, six abdominal ganglia. And from each ganglion, if we see, you can see the nerves arising. Another important feature is that uh, between the 11th and the 12th body segment, okay, between the 11th and the 12th body segment, uh, the nerve code is slightly separated. Okay, you can see here there is a, a very prominent separation and this separation is for 
passing of the sternal artery. You can see passage of sternal artery. So the sternal artery, it passes through this particular opening or uh, what you call a separation that is made by the separation of the two uh, nerve cords. Okay. So, only in this position, these two nerve cords are separated. Otherwise, the whole double uh, ventral nerve cord, is, uh, the nerve cords are, uh, even though there is two in number, they are so closely placed that it seems to be like fused. Now, so already mentioned that double ventral nerve cord, it is ganglionated, it is double in nature and it extends from the subesophageal ganglion till the telson tip, uh, uh, base of the telson and it passes along the midventral line. On the thoracic region, the uh, ventral nerve cord do have six ganglia, one each in one in each one each in each segment thoracic segment, and then abdominal region they have six abdominal ganglia. Okay. Now regarding the nerves, uh, when you speak about the nerves uh, from the double ventral nerve cord, uh, from each ganglion, three pairs of nerves are given out. Okay, we are speaking about the double ventral nerve, the nerves arising from the double ventral nerve cord. Okay, so from each ganglion, uh, three pairs of uh, nerves emerge out, uh, of which one pair is to the uh, respective appendage. Okay, one pair, it uh, actually innervates the appendage of that particular segment and the other two pairs are to the muscles of the segment. Okay, so that is about the uh, nerves arising from the double ventral nerve cord. Now, regarding the circumesophageal nerve ring, the nerves arising from each of the ganglia, what happens? The supraesophageal ganglionic mass, that is a frame, it uh, serves as a major um, uh, a nerve mass and it is an unspecialized brain. Okay, and uh, as already uh, mentioned, it is a ganglionic mass, so it is formed by fusion of several ganglia. And we can see, uh, if you look into in detail, the supraesophageal ganglia, it gives off uh, nerves to uh, antennae, antennules, uh, then uh, eye, the stalked eyes. Okay. And a pair of antennary nerves to antennae, a pair of antennular nerves to antennules, as well as statocyst present in the antennule. Then we have as the optic nerve, a pair which innervates the compound eyes, the stalked compound eyes. Then coming to the subesophageal ganglion, the nerves emerging from the subesophageal ganglion, what are they? Just like the supraesophageal ganglion, the subesophageal ganglion is also a ganglionic mass, that is, it is also formed by the fusion of a few ganglia. Okay, now from the subesophageal ganglia, we can find five pairs em emerging out. These five pairs of nerves uh, innervates mandibles, maxillae and maxillipids, these are the cephalic appendages. Okay, one pair to each of the mandibles, then uh, one pair to the uh, uh, first maxilla, one to um, second maxilla and again one each to first maxillipid and second maxillipid which make up altogether five uh, pairs of nerves emerging from the sub-esophageal ganglia. Okay. So, we have already seen the circumesophageal connective and the transverse commissural nerve. Now, as already mentioned, the double ventral nerve cord, uh, they do have ganglia. From each ganglion arises three pairs of nerves. Um, e uh, out of these, one pair em uh, em innervates the appendage on that particular segment, while two pairs to the muscles of the particular segment. And the whole thing, it uh, uh, forms the nervous system. Okay. So, the nervous system of the uh, pineus indicus it is composed of circumesophageal uh, ring nerve ring and double ventral nerve cord plus all the nerves uh, emerging out from the uh, these two parts okay so i hope it is clear fine thank you